Greetings and thank you so much for joining us today for a few moments of prayer and meditation, reflecting on who Jesus is to us. This Christmas week, one day before Christmas, as many of us would probably be gathering together with family, friends, and other loved ones, and maybe getting ready to go into the house of God to just uh, worship with God's people and give thanks to the Lord for all that He's done for us. We just want to remind you about who Jesus is to us so that we could just fall in love with Him afresh and just love Him all over again and say, Jesus, we love you. I want to remind us that Jesus is our blessed redeemer. Redeemer. First Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19, Peter writes, he says, Knowing that you were redeemed, not with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct, received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. 2,000 years ago, Almighty God humbled Himself to become this little baby in a manger, born in Bethlehem, in such a humble, meek, and simple fashion. But yet He came to be our Redeemer. He came to redeem us, the scriptures teach us. To redeem means to bring out of bondage, to bring out of slavery, to bring out of captivity through the payment of a ransom. In other words, redemption is very, very costly. It's not a cheap thing. There is a huge price to pay. Sometimes, an exorbitant price to pay in order to redeem someone or something. In our case, because of our sin or because of Adam's sin, we were held captive by this terrible enemy, Satan. We were in bondage to things that God never intended for our lives. We were slaves of sin, slaves of all kinds of evil, and we couldn't get out. We were captives, no way out. But Jesus came, God became a man, and He paid a price. And the Bible is telling us He gave His own blood. Now, blood is so important. Why? Because when blood is shed, it's saying a life has been given. He shed his own blood, saying, I'm giving my life. And that blood was the ransom, that price that was paid to bring us our redemption. And he brought us out of captivity, liberated us. And then not only did he liberate us, but he took us to a high and glorified place at his own right hand as sons and daughters, heirs and joint heirs with Almighty God. What a wonderful redemption. He is our blessed Redeemer. So today we want to say, Jesus, thank you for redeeming my soul and exalting me to this place of being an heir of God and a joint heir with you. Thank you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, your blood redeems us. You gave your blood to redeem us. And we say thank you for being our blessed Redeemer and that we could say we are the redeemed of the Lord. We are heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus, redeemed into God's family. Thank you for being our redeemer. We love you. And we want to love you more than ever before. We want to fall in love with you all over again afresh. Ignite our love for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.